and we'll bring on Kyle Friend, who we just saw a few weeks ago come into our WHIP studios. A little bit less sore today than the last time we talked to you? Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah just a little bit. Have you bench pressed since uh, the, the big day at Pro Day? Yeah, yes. Yeah, trying to stay in shape a little bit, so I'll get on there and I'll do a little bit. <laughs> uh, what was the number? You don't put up like 46 times. You just casually roll to the facility to bench press, right? right yeah, no. I'll, uh, <laughs> You know, I'm working out to stay in shape and, you know, prepare myself to, to get into camp again. So, um, you know, it's been nice being able to work out back here uh, at Temple. When you're at that, um, just working out and, and trying to keep in shape for the NFL and the draft's coming up and we'll see uh, if you get drafted and we're hopeful that you do, uh, what is that number that you do bench press at? Like, what is the weight? Is, is it still 225 for you? That I that I work out with? Yeah, that you work out with. No, I don't. Well, I mean, it depends on the day. Um, if I'm doing heavier weight, I mean, I'll get up, you know, Anywhere to three, you know, three forty-five, three, you know, three sixty-five, <laughs> something like that. How many times do you think you bench press, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. What are you like a buck eighty? Uh, not know. even, <laughs> not even. <laughs> Maybe a couple. Yeah. <laughs> a few times as we're here with Kyle Friend. So a big reason why we wanted to get you on today is really what's going to decide if this offense is going to be successful this year, going to be the big boys up front. As it is you, always. You man. know the game's won in and out of the trenches. Uh, what stands out to you with this offensive line this year? Well, I think they're uh, they're well coached, of course. I mean, we were well coached every, every year. Um, but uh, with the new coach, um, I think he's doing a good job with them. Um, you know, I think what stands out to me is that all the guys on the O-line, they can play different positions. I mean, I looked out there today and I saw Brendan McGowan at guard, and that's probably going to be the starting center for the year. Um, I see Mc like James McHale out there that can play any position. Um, Brian Carter can switch from right to left. Um, you know, so I, th I think for me, I mean, Jalen Jalen Robinson, he can play guard, he can play tackle. Um, so for me, it's just I think it's nice to see that, you know, those guys can move around on the offensive line a little bit, and I think they'll be able to, to get a good starting five out there. We're talking to NFL hopeful in Kyle Friend, and being that NFL hopeful, I also saw your teammate in Robbie Anderson. He's been uh, working out with Chad Ochocinco Johnson. Yeah. You've been training out with anyone cool? Well, when I was down in Georgia, um, there was a lot of guys that would come through the facility in and out, but uh, that's awesome for Robbie, man. I mean, that's the best of the best that you're being able to learn from, and, um, you know, me and Robbie have the same agent, so we keep in touch a lot, and, um, you know, it's just awesome to see uh, – you know, him get that opportunity to work out with him. I mean, that's great. And obviously he's he's one of many teammates that have a chance to make it to the NFL. And just what does that mean that as a senior class, you, you guys could spend or, or could manage to get four, even upwards of five guys into the draft, you being one of them? I mean, it would just, I think it just would mean a lot for the university. Um, you know, if you look at, if you look at what Temple was when me and Ty and Matt and Tavon, Robbie, if you look at what it was when we first got here, um, you know, it's just a lot different. Uh, I'll just say that. It's just a lot different. And I think for the university, um, it would just do a lot. Uh, for this program, it would do a lot. Um, so, you know, we're excited. And you say it's a lot different, and I'm assuming you mean that in a positive way, especially Absolutely. with the way they're taking strides. So then bring me back four years ago. You're looking at Temple. You, you still think it's even better than it was four years ago, but take me back to those times about four years ago when you're trying to get recruited by Temple. <clears throat> well, uh, I mean, I was thankful. I mean, Temple was my biggest offer coming out of high school. And, uh, you know, when I say it was different, I mean, when I was, a, when I was a freshman, I mean, it really wasn't necessarily a good thing sometimes, uh, you know, just amongst the student population uh, to be a football player. And now I think we, we completely changed that that outlook uh, changed our reputation and like the, you know for for a player like i said it's just it's just so great to see you know the reputation of this program this university change in, in a positive way so let's get back to some of those offensive line players one guy we haven't been able to talk to yet uh, but Matt Rule really did say that he's a guy that he expects that a lot of people didn't hear last year to make a big impact is Javon Fair. Tell us what you know about Javon Fair. I, I mean, just from what I've seen uh, here, well, you know, being around a practice, um, the kid can play football, and I think he takes coaching really well. Um, he's really athletic, um, you know, and I think he's somebody that with a little bit of more experience and, uh, you know, once he gets out, gets out and gets his feet wet a little bit, that kid's going to be a really good player, really when, good player. When people come to Temple, what's the thing that they need to know right away? When you have a younger guy, like a freshman or a sophomore, what's the one thing that you older guys or the coaching staff try to install in their brains right away playing Temple football? You know, I think, I think if I were, I mean, if I were to give advice to someone coming in, and that's just, uh, you know, take good coaching, and uh, and don't take things personal. I mean, it's hard, 
you know, this coaching staff coaches you hard, and they treat you like men, you know. And uh, sometimes that's not always the easiest thing to do. And uh, as a young player, uh, it can be hard. It can be discouraging a little bit, um, you know, taking hard coaching like that. So if I was, you know, to offer advice, I'd just say take the coaching because these coaches, they know what they're doing. You know, they're professionals. And, uh, you know, when you decide that, you know, you're just going to do what they tell you to do, your, your level of play escalates. So that's, that's the advice I would give to them. You know how things can go viral as uh, your bench press video went viral. <laughs> and I always have fun bringing this up to you. But have you been getting more interest from NFL teams ever since uh, that video was released by Temple on Pro Day? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been in touch with, uh, with a lot of teams up to this point, And, uh, you know, I don't think it was just because of that. Um, oh, for sure. It's for other people as well. <laughs> You're a pretty darn good player <laughs> when you played. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, I've been in touch with, with a lot of teams. Do you so. think you'll get drafted? I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping, but, uh, you know, I'll just be grateful and and, uh, and happy with the opportunity to still play. Man, so. if, you, if you don't, I'm sure you'll, you'll find a home uh, being an undrafted free agent or something along those lines. So yeah. uh, real quickly before we let you run, Kyle, uh, this is a football team where last year you guys were expected to take that next step, and you guys did, beating Penn State for the first time in 74 years you also had that uh, big college game day come in town and that's something that I know you would not have thought ever happened when yep. you were a freshman it's something I wouldn't thought would ever happen as a freshman what does this team need to do this year to take that next step and bring that conference championship title to Temple well I think they need to remember what we did last year and and learn from the things that we could have done better um, you know that's it's easy to say but uh I think last year's team was a good team to kind of replicate things after. And, um, you know, just from a leadership standpoint, um, you know, and just, you know, how to handle different situations. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited for this team. I think they could be a really good ball club. Um, I think there's good leadership out there. Uh, obviously, they're well coached at every position. So I would just tell them to, uh, you know, fine tune the things that we kind of screwed up a little bit last year and, and uh, you know, listen to these coaches because they know what they're doing. It's good, good. Should be a good ball club. I'm excited. And no doubt about that. Can't wait to see what they're able to do in the 2016 season. Kyle, friend, best of luck coming up at the end of the month. Hopefully, we hear your name called on draft day. And if not, we know you'll find a home somewhere in the NFL. So thanks for a few minutes. Hey, I appreciate you guys having me. It's always good to see you guys. Thanks so much. There is Kyle, friend, joining us on set at the Cherry and White game, WHIP Radio in Philadelphia. Zach Gelb and Mike Zahn here with you. Thanks, Kyle. As uh, Kyle, friend, just joins us here on set. So let's get back to that.